conversion questions that they want. Yeah. 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 How did you like consulting for businesses um, first after school and then I worked in a private equity firm so investing um, in consumer retail companies um, before coming to HBS and uh, we're here uh, to look at this really interesting project in uh, education which we're all very excited about. Uh, my name is Spencer Cross um, I am originally from uh, Minneapolis Minnesota um, and uh, prior to uh, starting a business school, sorry, okay. Uh, prior to starting a business school, I worked um, in the tech sector, uh, at the intersection of tech and healthcare. I uh, worked in electronic medical records. So, uh, for those of you unfamiliar with the space, it's when uh, you go to the physician and they enter your information to the computer. We made that software, so uh, I would go around to hospitals and help them uh, implement that software. Um, as Milo said, and we're very excited to, to get uh, a diverse perspective on how education works here, um, and I'm very curious to, to see it from, from you all, or in, in, in more who recently have gone through that process. Um, so my name is Vanessa Pelas. I'm from France. 
Uh, he's currently working on construction sites both in France and in Morocco. And then in Morocco, I did also social housing, trying to develop a charter and improve the social, um, the standards of social housing. Then I moved to the US, where I went to MIT to do a little bit of structural engineering at Bristol and Marine. And there I started working in public-private partnerships, which is a new mean to develop infrastructure, such as roads, bridges, and things like that. And now I'm doing my MBA. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Rashad Gordy. Um, I'm actually was born in India. Uh, I'm from the Surat area in Gujarat, but for the most part grew up in the United States. Uh, I'm currently in my penultimate year of a joint degree program between Columbia University Medical School and Harvard Business School. Uh, I have some work experience in private equity doing healthcare deals as well as hospital management in the United States. Any part of your education in India? Um, yes, up until about kindergarten. So pre -K. <laughs> <laughs> That's the maximum exposure any one of you has to Indian education. Sorry. Hey, uh, I'm Sabina Robinov. I was born in Russia, grew up in Israel. Before HBS, I worked for Google as a software engineer. Before Google, I had a startup company in financial services. I'm very excited to be here. My first time in Mumbai. I love it. I hope we will have time to travel a bit. Thank you for having me. Uh, hi, my name is Jared Davis. Uh, I'm originally from uh, Louisiana in the southern part of the United States. Uh, but I spent the last four years before business school living in London, and I worked for a private equity firm um, investing in energy companies uh, throughout Europe and Africa. Um, the firm's called Warburg Pincus, has an office here in Mumbai. Uh, and um, before that, I worked for an investment bank, uh, also uh, investing in energy, uh, energy companies. Okay, uh, if you permit me, I, I'm already doing a lot of talking, but just to give you all a gist, uh, the first year students in MBA program here, uh, basically 50% of them are raw. That means they have completed their undergraduation course and joined the MBA program. Okay, so uh, by saying raw means they have approximately uh, 16 years of education before coming into an M MBA program. And 50% uh, of them would have experience of having worked in some company or the other for a year or two. Uh, unlike Harvard or other places, it's not compulsory to have work experience before uh, getting admitted into an MBA program. Uh, what happens is that while you're doing your two-year MBA program, it's a two-year program, we, uh, you're expected to spend approximately six months in the industry. So we have something called as a winter internship, we have something called as a summer internship uh, for one month, two months, and then later on uh, with the industry you work for another three months. So uh, by the time they pass out, they roughly get about six months uh, on the job industry experience. So uh, first of all, uh, thank you all for visiting India uh, and uh, coming to our institute. It's a privilege to have all of you here. And we hope we are able to contribute to your project. And uh, we are also looking forward to what you are going to come up with and uh, you know, uh, sort of uh, propose for a change in the education system. Uh, all of us for the last uh, 50 years, uh, sorry, I'm uh, disclosing my age. <laughs> <laughs> for 50 years, we've been trying to say that our education system needs to change, okay? Because right now, uh, up to the graduation level, the focus is on English and mathematics, okay? And that's so because I think uh, our past rulers wanted us to be proficient in that. And uh, as far as application and uh, thinking is concerned, uh, after we complete our education, then we start learning that. So, uh, and that's the reason why, you know, those, Education per se in India is pretty cheap, okay? Uh, and it's almost compulsory. I mean, the girl child for the first 11 years of her life, uh, education, everything is sponsored by the government. But in spite of that, there are a huge number of uh, dropouts and there is a huge gap in the quality. 
So anyway, um, I don't want to uh, steal your thunder of trying to understand it from the grassroots level. But uh, I think this is a welcome uh, opportunity for all of them to be able to actually uh, engage with you and share. Uh, because in our management institutes, we actually don't ask this question. How, how has your journey been so far and what have you learned? Uh, because if we go into that, then it can become very depressing. Okay? So we go the other way around saying that now that you've arrived, your real education starts. Okay, so, uh, guys, any one of you uh, introduce yourself and feel free to ask. Uh, you have these privileged uh, friends out here. Please feel free to ask them anything. You have five minutes. <laughs> By the time I'll just check on the uh, arrival of them because I don't want to, you know, disturb your plan. Yeah, any random questions? Like, yeah, everything. Only five. Yeah. yeah. My name is Kevin and I want to one thing. This question is to you. You're you're pursuing your MD with your MBA, right? That's right. So how is helping you? Uh, Defining the healthcare sector in the United States as well as the other countries, where you're facing problems of uh, mostly uh, below 18 people, below uh, 18 of age, they are facing uh, some health problems in the United States. So how are you right. tackling it? Yeah, so I uh, initially started off wanting just to practice medicine and just to see patients day to day, and I thought that would be uh, enough satisfaction in my career. But growing up, um, I started to realize that there were very systemic and endemic problems within the way that healthcare is delivered uh, in the way that patients have access. Um, and I began to realize that you know, the way that those things were going, something needed to be changed. And there weren't enough people either within medicine who truly understood business and within business who truly understood healthcare in order to make those changes happen. So that's why I, I had my hypothesis that we needed more individuals like that in order for that change to happen. And that's kind of every experience that I've had in my career and what I've been trying to do educationally with this dual degree has been towards that end. Um, and I guess to kind of more directly answer your question, I think that there's a lot of opportunity in terms of both improving quality of care and doing so at a lower cost uh, in both India and the United States. We have a very similar problems. Are you working on any project from like healthcare in India or something? Uh, not in India, no. So we're, we're all working on the same uh, education project, but it's something that uh, I've been kind of having an eye towards to see what, where the opportunity is. Come, 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 come. Come, come. Sorry, I have your real guinea pigs uh. for <laughs> slaughter, but come, just, just join in quickly. Just sit down wherever there's place. And once you're not done, the rest of us will leave you alone.